Hey everyone, it's Sam here. So I've got a nice card to share with you today. I actually got the inspiration from a card that I saw in WH Smith. I was at the till buying a magazine and they had it displayed actually on top of their till. And I said to the lady, do you mind if I just take a little picture of this? So I'll pop it in now. You can see this interesting side detail. I'm going to call this a platform or like a stage card because it gives you that kind of look. So I've kept the front pretty simple because the idea is that this card is displayed open. Got the nice little holly there and the Merry Christmas. And then when you open this one up, you get this... I'm, well, I've got three layers. You could just have two, you could just have the one layer if you want. And you can see this like little stage and I've got the choir there of all these cute animals with the falala and I think it looks fab. You could easily alter this to fit into other sizes. I'm gonna revisit it in a five by seven because I know lots of you like that size card and I might even look at a DL as well because I've got an idea for that one. I've got the matching envelope. You don't need any dies to make it, so let's get started. So I've got everything ready to use so I can just show you how to put it together and then you can use this with anything in your stash. Um, my, both of mine are obviously Christmas theme, but I think this will work for pretty much any occasion card. And already, if you're over on the Mixed Up Crafters Facebook group, lots of people have been making this because I made that one during the Facebook Live. So lots of people have already gone ahead and made this. So if you want more inspiration and you don't want to do maybe a Christmas style, just check out the cards over there. So this is going to go into a six by six card blank. So I've got a pre-made one here. If you want to make this yourself, you'll need a piece of 12 by six. And along the 12 inch side, you want to score at six inches. I've then cut myself these three pieces of... You could do five and three quarters squared. I think I did five and seven eighths squared because I just wanted, because I didn't want so much of a white border. Yeah, five and seven eighths squared. And for this one, I've used the worn lipstick in the middle, then picked raspberry, and then a little bit of lumberjack plaid. And then I spritzed it with the picked raspberry distress spritz. And I'm hoping this is picking it up but it has a absolutely beautiful shine. I did the faux bleaching as well. You just spritz some water on first and then you just blot that off. And then I put the uh, spritz over the top. So I've got the three there, one for the front and then two for inside. And then this is all of the inside mechanism. So I'm gonna have little kind of snowy rolling hills in front of all of mine. If I bring back this one here, you can see they're just all just the plain panels. And then I added the rolling hills onto the front ones because I'd already stuck those down. Maybe you've got like a grass border die. You might want to have layers of grass on each of these. So it will depend on obviously the theme that you're doing. But this is going to be the main part that you will all want. So first of all, for your back tiers, you'll want two pieces of one and three quarter by seven and a half. And then you want to score both of those pieces along the seven and a half side at half an inch, one, and then six and a half and seven. Okay, and you're going to create mountain folds on all of those pieces. And then for the two middle tiers, you want two pieces of one and a quarter by seven. And along that seven inch side, you're gonna score at half, one, six, and six and a half. And again, mountain folds on the ends. And then for the smallest tiers, you want two pieces of three quarters by six and a half. And again, along the six and a half, you're gonna score at half, one, and then five and a half and six. If you want, you can just score at half and one and then rotate and do half and one on all the pieces as well. Those heights as well can be altered. I'd keep the, the lengths that I've given you, but if you don't want yours to be three quarters, you might want all three to be the same, to be two inches. Or you might want to do three if you're doing like a taller card, then obviously you can go taller. You really can play around with it, but the, um, the widths are the sizes then to fit in the six by six. And then I've got these pieces to decorate the front. So for the back tier, I've got two pieces that are five and a half. Um, I mean, let's say they were two and a half and then I cut that shape into them. And then you've got these two, which are five and you're looking at two inches and then I cut the shape into them. I just did that freehand with my scissors. And then these are one and a half by four and a half, two pieces. And I've tried to do it so that when they're together, they kind of like all level out. So first you want to stick down these layers here. So you want one for the front, like I said, and then for the inside. You want to take your largest pieces here and you're going to take your glue. I'm going to stick with the construction glue because this just dries really hard. You want to add your glue to the outer piece there and you want this to be flush with the bottom and just line it up to the score line. Don't go over the score line. 
just butt it up and I'm going to do the same with this side so just on the very edge there fold that one over and then just butt that one up so there's just a little gap in between they're not quite cut, touching because the score line is running through the middle there if you go really close together it's just gonna it will just pull the middle of the card and it won't look very nice so just keep that little gap just give that a minute to dry make sure everything is nice and straight and flush with the bottom you can also turn this upside down whilst that's just drying because we were saying during the live obviously ignore the animals there but if you've got these three pieces here you could have all florals on here you could have maybe some christmas decorations hanging down it could be like the sprigs of a tree there is so much you could do with this you could have swinging elements in this so i definitely want to revisit this with a few more styles next we want to add the glue just to one of the sides i'm just going to do the left side there and then just stick those together you're going to fold the two over there just to add the glue to the bottom but fold both over and just bring this over and you'll see it will perfectly line up with the edge of the card there okay once you're happy that's dry just bring it all up and you've got your first kind of side secure there but you can see now when that goes to close that will stay all inside the card so just repeat that on this side so just add the glue to that outer piece there and then you want to bring this across in fact you can go to close the cards probably easier keep those two folded underneath and then just close the card and just check that it's all hidden there and let that all completely dry Okay, so whilst that was just drying, I've just stuck my decoration for the front. So now when you open this up, you should have something like that. So if you want, you can just keep that one panel. And like I said, if it's upside down, this is an easier way now to show it. You could even stamp your sentiments on here. You could have all Christmas baubles, any, any kind of swinging element. It could be a sports theme. It could be a football and things like that. I just think there's so much scope for this style. So next you want to then repeat exactly what I did there with the next layer. But if you want to add like of ones I've done here, you want to stick them down first and then stick these ones on top. So I'm going to stick these down, then I'm going to add these two exactly the same way as the others, then I'm going to stick my next ones down and then I'm going to stick those down and then I'm going to finish with these on the very front. Okay, so this is where I'm up to. I am really pleased that I added these decorative kind of panels to each layer. You can, again, just bring in the difference there with just the one on the front or without them. So I think if you're creating more of that scene, then you definitely want to add some um, some edges there. I think they look cool. I've also stuck down the um, kind of title there, fa la 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 la, which uh, always makes me laugh. I'm going to do a fa la 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 card every year now because I did one last year. And then when I did this one, someone said in the chat, you need to make this an annual thing. So yeah, <laughs> if you like these kind of things, check back again next year. So now I'm going to add my wonderful characters. I am not getting bored of these. I think I've probably made maybe six cards using this set. I'll probably do a little um, Instagram reel of all of the cards so far. I do have a separate playlist just for these st this stamp set and the cards I've made. So that'll be linked to the end of the video as well. But this is it here for anybody that's not seen it. It was issue 139 from Creative Stamping. As I'm filming this, you'll still be able to get it in the shops, but it is available on Craft Stash. Um, but like with magazine subscriptions, once they're gone, that's it. You don't tend to get them again. They don't do like a reprint of them. But you've got all the wonderful characters there. So for this one, I've just got the penguins and the bears. Whereas on this one, I added in the little pigs there as well. But I just wanted to stick with these two. I've also got my little snowballs. These are from an older Christmas set. They're going to go either side there. And then I'm going to start adding in the characters. So you've got to have your big bear there at the back, which I think looks brilliant. And um, I'll probably have another one at the front and then fit in all of the other characters.
This is adorable. I love the mirrored card with the um, Falala there. A little bit different. That one's got the glitter on. I'm not sure how well it picks up, but there is a white glitter card on that one. And then I added the glaze onto the snowballs there. I'll probably add a little bit of glaze like onto the star, the heart. Yeah, maybe a few little elements on each one, like the cheeks on them, because it's all it, it's nice when it catches the light. And then it all folds down. You've got that nice little decoration on the front. So thank you for watching today. I have done the envelope for that one, but I've got a pile of stuff with all my wax seals. So I'm going to do the um, envelope later, but you'll see that when I share the photos and the Instagram reels. As always, all of the product that I've used, I will link in the description box below this video. The playlist coming up now is that one with all of the cards that I've made using that stamp set. And make sure you're subscribed and that way you won't miss out on future videos. See you all again soon. Bye.